All right, for this video, we are, well, for demonstration purposes, showing how to take apart the front brakes. Um, these brakes last a long time, and even though we'll see what we got, like about 140,000 miles, they're still like 50%. But uh, for some people, it's going to be to that point where they have to change the pads and the rotors. So we're going to show how to disassemble and reassemble. Um, the first thing that you want to start off with is disconnecting the 12 volt battery back in the cargo area and uh, you can check our video on battery replacement for that for disassembling these components uh, one thing i'm just going to start off with is taking out the 12 millimeter little bolt here that secures the brake hose that brake hose um, by taking the bolt out it just gives us more movement so we can move the caliper. Um, that was a 12 millimeter head bolt. Then the um, pins for the caliper are 14. And if you need to, well, particularly when you put it back, uh, you might need to brace this pin with a 17 millimeter. That's, it's kind of a narrow fit. So we actually ground down a wrench so that it fits in between right there. A lot of the wrenches are a little too thick to get in there. All right. Mm -hmm. So there's the two bolts. They're both 14 millimeters. And these Prius brakes really aren't anything crazy. It's just a floating caliper design. All right. So see then, see now that we got that hose undone, it makes it easy to remove the caliper and get it out of the way. You can hang it up on your spring and um, sits pretty nicely right there, which you wouldn't be able to do if the hose was still bolted down to the steering knuckle. Anyway, so, okay. And then um, to remove the pads, you can just slide them out. Be careful not to uh, lose any of your hardware here. You can see we still got a good amount of material on our pads, so. That's why we're not actually replacing them, just demonstrating how to take them out. There's the other one. They should be even if you compare the two. Otherwise, well, we have another video on lubricating the sliding pins. So if those are sticking, you might have uneven wear on your pads. All right, so next, uh, in order to get the rotor off, we're going to remove the caliper mounting bracket here. There's two 17 millimeter bolts in the back. And they're going to be on there pretty tight, so I'm going to use our breaker bar and a deep socket. There we go. This is a ratcheting breaker bar, so this is also nice. There we go. All right, so let's take those out. Get ready when you pull out the second one, hold on to your bracket. All right. All right, here is your caliper mounting bracket. Let's see if there's any question, it is marked with an L <laughs> for left. Um, and yeah, just make sure that all of your uh, fit kit pieces are in place, they're not damaged. There are these little spring-loaded tabs here that um, kind of hold the brake pads firmly in place. And then, then your pins, you wanna make sure those are sliding freely. Those are good, boots aren't damaged. Um, so everything looks good to go there. And then we're gonna take out our rotor. And in our situation here, our rotor is sitting there um, unfrozen. It's not rusted on, but in many cases depending on where you are um, if you got snow and salt on the roads and all that good stuff you might have to um, force the rotor off basically and that's what these two thread holes are you can put bolts in there just crank on them you know a little bit um, once on each side at a time and then it will pull the rotor off which for us that wasn't necessary but <laughs> yeah so Hopefully you don't have too much rust like we didn't. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So we got everything taken apart. 
and um, everything looks good. You don't see anything weird going on. We're gonna go ahead and assemble our brakes here and uh, start by putting the rotor on. And the rotor, you know, if it's flopping around too much on you, you can just use one of your lug nuts and just spin that on there and that'll hold the rotor down. Then it's nice and straight and in place. Um, then, let's see, we gotta put our, um, our bracket back on here. So, just slide it between the rotor and the knuckle and line up the bolts. Might be, there you go. Might be a little tricky getting it all in alignment, but not too bad. All right, so torque your caliper mounting bracket bolts back down. All right, so we'll slide our pads into position. Just got to kind of work around the bracket there and slide them into those clips. There we go. All right, yeah, make sure all your shims are in place. You haven't tweaked any of the hardware or anything. So we're gonna put our caliper back. You can see where it's a convenient resting place for it there on the spring. <laughs> and then, uh, so uh, if you did replace your pads, uh, this would be the point where you would need to uh, press your piston back into um, the caliper with the well, with the piston piston compressing tool. Can't talk here, but or some people do crazy things like use big pliers. So if you do need to compress the piston into your caliper, um, you can use like you take an old brake pad, and then this is the tool that is just a simple, you know, hand crank tool. So um, I think you can find these at any auto parts store. And so all you do is just set it into the caliper and then twist it and just ease that piston back in. And by pushing that piston back, you make room for your thicker brake pads. And you can basically just crank it until it stops because then that means the piston will be flush with the, I guess you could say the body of the caliper. Yeah, that's it. So it's all the way back in. So you just loosen the tool. You don't need that pad anymore. So now you can see it's nice and flush there. Then you're ready to put it back together. Assuming you have it opened up as much as it needs to be, then you can slide it back on and then put the uh, bolts back in. You want to torque those back down. And don't forget the uh, brake hose. And there's a little tab too that lines up with a hole back here. So make sure that tab lines up as well. Or you might bend the little bracket. There you go, tighten that down. And we got all back together. All right, so before we uh, go ahead and reconnect our 12 volt battery in the back, uh, we're gonna pump the brakes to make sure the uh, pistons are extended and are actually pressing on the brake pads. There you go. So that was like two and a half pumps. And now you can feel that the pedal has lifted back up. So should be good to go and we'll reconnect the battery. <laughs>